Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2! When we left off last episode, we finished planned food and obviously the boss level. Today we're going into the stage which I can't read the name of. So let's jump right into it! Also, in the background, while recording this, I've got Cookie Clicker running. I've gotten addicted to that game. For everybody who doesn't care, I'm not going to talk about it too much. So don't worry. But for everybody who does care, I am at the moment making 30 billion cookies per second. And that's not even enough, if you can't believe it. Because for the upgrade I want to buy, I need something like, I don't know, 11 trillion cookies. I'm not even gonna bother with that apple. So that's everything cookie clicker in this episode. I said I wasn't going to talk about it too much, so I'm not going to talk about it at all anymore. I probably will be knowing what just happened. Knowing myself, I probably will talk about it a little bit at least, because, oh man, that game is so damn addicting. For some reason it's fun. Is it even a game though, you might be wondering, because it's, it's more or less micromanagement. In a fancy jacket. Not even in a fancy jacket, it's just micromanagement. There you go. Then again, Age of Empires is considered a game. It's little more than micromanagement. It's micromanagement with fancy graphics. It's not even that fancy, but for a micromanagement game, it's pretty fancy. And I think I might actually have my very first game over in this episode, which wouldn't be too bad seeing as how this is, I think, episode 6. Well, I wonder what happens when you go game over, because I've been wondering that for the past six episodes. I think this is actually episode seven. Well, for the past however many episodes I haven't been keeping track. Uh, we'll find out, I suppose, but... Oh, no, obviously we've got zero lives left at first. Some games do that, some games don't. Uh, Crash Bandicoot does it, but I'm not used to having zero lives and being able to play. A lot of games... When, once you reach zero, you're done for. Especially in the classic games, that's not so much true, and Crash Bandicoot is a really good example of that. Because you've got a last life with a zero, which is kind of confusing, honestly. So, let's get this, let's... That's more difficult than it looks, I must say. Continue? What happens when I continue? I... Think I just get thrown out of level. So let's go back into it, because... Yeah. I re... Did it save my life from last time, or did I just waste a lot of lives last time? I think in plant food I wasted a lot of lives because I... Well, I was plant food. A lot of plants ate me in that level. Please stop. Good. Now I can kill you. Don't. Good. Oh, come on! Really? Should have done a sliding dash. Like that. Wow, that actually worked out really well. I was expecting to die. I've got a Ukuka mask now. It's probably because I was doing so badly, they just gave me one. Or that happens. Well. I wonder if that's actually a thing in this game, they give you a free Ukuka mask if you're doing badly. I mean, makes sense if they did. Oh, there's a... There's a Ukuka mask on a checkpoint right over there. Don't think. Good. Checkpoint and Ukuka mask. And secret wish I can't get, so I can't 100% the stage probably. Does it. There was a jam here, wasn't there? Oh, it's probably that secret, yeah. Well, this is difficult! Yeah, I expected that to happen. I really, really did. So you go ahead and die. You get belly flopped. I think sliding dash is actually necessary there. Come on! 
Oh, there's a secret right over there. And a checkpoint right after it. Every time you start this thing, you get a mask there, which is really nice. So, there's supposed to be a gem in this level. I don't know where it is. All those... Maybe that thing over back where the save point was, was actually a hint and I have to jump down there. I doubt it. I think they only get unlocked once you get the gem of that color. I think that's how it works. I might be entirely wrong though. Um, did that just happen? Okay. Um, what? <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I mean... I think I'm glad it did happen, but I don't know why it did that. Oh god, this is gonna be difficult. Oh damn it, you're kidding, okay. Wow, I did that, I actually did that. Please be all metal blocks. They are good, because otherwise I'd have had a really bad time. Bally flop, just because I can, and I've I got all the boxes in this stage, and a couple of extra lives, which is always nice to have. And again, all the boxes in the bonus stage doesn't happen too often. Oh, I have to hit this one into, and still it's not easy. Oh, okay, so that's how it works. They respawn, and you have to. Okay, and then it respawns, and you can do that. Well, that wasn't too difficult now, was it? I've got two Uka Uka masks. I've been meaning to show off this one mechanic since the beginning of the Let's Play. I haven't been able to. Give me that third one. Give me that third one. Because if you get three Uka Uka masks, you get a really awesome thing. And I'm going to show it to you right about now. The third Uka Uka mask, you get invincibility. And you can destroy everything in your path. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It only lasts for a little while though, so... Don't think you're invincible for the rest of the stage. Because it's gonna wear off right about... Now. Yeah. And there would be another Ukuka mask here, which could have granted me another invisibility. I say invisibility, it's invincibility. Pretty much the same thing, but I... Is it? No, it isn't. Wow, that was a really good jump, I must say. Really well jumped there. You go ahead and do your thing. Good. So I got the crystal. I thought I had actually had to go there because this had the two um, blocks. So I figured, well, this might just be a secret. Well, not that much of a secret, but an extra area. So I might have to go to the... I had Uka, Uka mask anyway. So I might have to go to the left. To progress with the level? Apparently, I didn't. That box was probably... And I got another jam! Which is really, really nice. I wonder where that secret was. That's probably to get the color jam of this stage. I, I want to jump down there, though. I kind of do. Is there even a secret? Does it go to the right? Yes, it does. So, there is another gem in that stage. Which I really kind of want to, to have. But, that's why we're going to backtrack at some point. Crash! Thank goodness! I hacked into Cortex's computer and found detailed schematics for an improved Cortex Vortex and a suspicious looking space station. I'm not sure, but Cortex might be trying who even are you? I mean, you're our sister, but why Why didn't you exist in the first game? Well, let's go into Bear Down. Oh, I think this is the one with the polar bear, which is chasing you. Again, that might be Crash Bandicoot 3, where I'm thinking about. Doesn't seem like this. Oh god, it's one of these levels again, isn't it? I can do this. I can do this 100% now. I can do this. With 100% I don't mean all apples, obviously, but all boxes I should be able to 
Probably not pull off. But I'm gonna try, because it's gonna take a while if I don't do it. And I don't want to have to do the stage again afterwards, so... If I... Okay, up until this point I've got all boxes. And I missed a box. Well, let's die. That's one way of doing it, just dying when you miss boxes. It's honestly an easier way of doing it. Oh, that's difficult to do. I'm gonna try it one more time and if I fail, that's it. I'm gonna have to do a backtracking episode of every world anyway, so... Yeah, let's, let's just go on. If I only miss one box, I know it's not gonna be overly difficult backtracking that. So the way I'm gonna go... Okay, so that's gonna be a little more difficult. The way I'm gonna go about doing the backtracking stuff is before the final boss fight, I don't know how the final boss fight is gonna work, if it's gonna throw it at me or if it's gonna be in a separate stage where I can choose to do the backtracking first. I'm gonna do the backtracking one world an episode. So I'm gonna do an episode on world one, episode on world two, three, four, five. I'm gonna 100% the, the backtracking. So... That's probably going to be longer episodes than 15 to 20 minutes. It's probably going to be half an hour to an hour an episode. Oh. Newsflash, that kills you. It kind of obviously, I mean, yeah. <laughs> that should be obvious, shouldn't it? So jump there, jump here. So that's how we're going to go about doing it. It's in total going to be five backtracking episodes. I was going to do it in a live stream I said, but I decided against that idea because... I I can just cut a, uh, I cut out all moments which are not that great in the backtracking episodes and the quality will be much better, obviously, if I don't live stream it. Oh come on! So that's how I'm gonna go about backtracking, but at this rate that's gonna take a while until we get there, so might as well just enjoy ourselves for the time being. I'm getting better at that part though, which is always nice. Getting a little bit of practice, because we're gonna have to do the stage eventually. Again. Ooh, this is really difficult as well. The stage is not as easy as you might think it is. You might think, he's really bad at it, and I might be, but the stage is actually pretty difficult. Don't underestimate this stage. Don't. Because it's actually pretty difficult. Even though I am... Probably, okay, checkpoint, probably also really bad at the game. So the first you have to jump, the second you have to just go. Well, I'm glad that... Hmm. Can I speed up with this thing? Does it speed up? I don't think it does. Okay, so I just jumped too late, probably. Oh yeah, I got that box. I totally got that box. Wow, Nitro. Let's jump over that. Let's... That... Ah, oh, come on. If I didn't... Oh, the end's there. Right there as well. You can see the, the green bricks. Yeah. It's right there as well. Come on. Okay, I can do this again. No, I can't. Okay, that was luck. Pure luck first time round. I'm gonna have to do that again, don't I? Yeah. I'm going to have to do that. The end is right here. And obviously destroying all the nitro blocks. I kinda wanna try... This. What these things are. Because something tells me there's something I can get. By jumping on those. At the same time, something tells me I really don't want to do that. Just because of the fact that I only have three lives left and it's pretty difficult to do. But I might want to really look at what's down there. Because there's an island with snow down there. So there might be a gem. If there's a colored gem right there, I'm gonna get it. There's nothing. It's got to be something. It's not too difficult. There's a secret. I knew there was something. I just don't know what it is. Wait, what? Wait, what?
What? I do not get it. I really, really don't. So, if I go in here, what's it gonna give me? Gonna return me to this stage? What? Why? There are a lot of lives here which I can't get for some apparent reason. I uh, might as well try and get all boxes, right? Oh, I was gonna say, why can't Nitro kill me? But I totally can. Yeah, how do I get those... Oh, I have to... Yeah, I see what I have to do there. That's not happening. That's probably gonna cost me more lives than it's gonna gap me at the end of the day, so... That was a pretty awesome escape, I must say. This is difficult to control. Let's take it. Oh, the whirlpool is sucking me in. The whirlpool is sucking me in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I don't know what this is all about, but I think I like it. This better give me some kind of jam. This battle will be man. Well, it's gonna be mandatory if I want to one percent the game, anyways. I don't get this though, not at all. Is this all the water sections in the game that are just unlocked in one singular level, or what's this all about? I have no clue. But if it's gonna give me a jam. I'll be happy. It seemed like some kind of secret world. Because it had five other levels as well, or four other levels. Five levels in total. This is gonna be... I'm gonna jump straight into the whirlpool, am I? No, I'm not. Good. It's not too difficult as well, which is really nice. And a checkpoint. I really just don't get this. I This stage seems really similar to um one in world 2, I think. It might be the same stage. I I have no idea what even is this is about. Well, I, at least I got an auto shot at this stage before backtracking. I guess Unless this is an entirely separate stage with just the same level design. Which would be really... Okay. We're gonna have to... Damn it! Well, let's go on. Same with that, it's probably almost impossible to get that. I got a box, I got alive, but I missed. That's going to be difficult to get once I... I did not know this would be happening. If I knew that, I'd have ended off the episode long, long ago. Okay, let that thing go down. One, two, three. It's probably going to come up again any moment. Yeah, good. And I'm probably going to get teleported away at... No, not here either. I still don't know what this thing is about. I think I do, but I'm not positive. Good, it blew up the plan. I really don't know what this is about. I... I'm speechless. I expected a secret, yeah, but I didn't expect playing a level I already played. Does that stage perhaps give me one uh, one level per world I can 
replay like that, or what's the deal with it? I've got no idea what's it. I think I got myself stuck. Oh no, I didn't. I have no idea what this is all about. But at least I managed to do that. Get them apples. And that's the end of the stage! With still a lot of things. I have no idea what this is about. I honestly have no idea. This is gonna get me back to. Just air crash! I don't get this. Let's let's go on. Okay, we're back here now. Okay, so I got that. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 2. I don't know what just happened, but I'll see you all back next time when we go into Roads to Ruin. Sounds promising. Bye.